you watch Pink Planet. Hey, this is Shauna in Zurich, and you're watching Pink Planet. You're watching Pink Planet. Hey everybody, we are in Switzerland's biggest city, home to a lively gay scene, as well as some pretty awesome gay and lesbian events. I'm Bill Mantis, in this edition of Pink Planet, we explore Zurich. Zurich is a small but sophisticated metropolis located in the northern portion of Switzerland close to the German border. The gay scene here is very established and proudly visible with a bustling gay district and an exciting gay social scene. In general I find Switzerland and Zurich a much safer cities, a city than I've ever experienced. Here you have much less space and people have to live together a lot more. So people are used to basically being able to operate in their own sphere even though something else and something very different is going on right beside them. Kais Eins, or Circle One, in the Old Town marks Zurich's neighborhood. Now, you won't find gay life on a main strip or artery, but instead, it's winding through these tiny cobblestone streets. This is basically where the whole gay neighborhood begins. Like, it we're going to start circling right. through here. There is a sex shop which is called Macho, and this is the first sex shop we had. Excellent. So Need one of those in every town, don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so whereabouts are we right now? So now we are, we are here at the bar Fuster, which in all Europe was the first gay bar to the happen. The very first the gay very bar first. ever in yes. Europe is this bar right here. Ground zero for the gay community. Really? <laughs> well, you can say it like that, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Switzerland's gay friendliness dates back to World War II when the tiny nation was a refuge for gays fleeing Nazi persecution. Those who couldn't escape were arrested and sent to concentration camps. Colored triangle badges were used to categorize prisoners with pink identifying homosexuals. Today, the pink triangle is a symbol of gay liberation. It was much more liberal Zurich and in the 1956, so much more liberal than other parts of Europe. And it's, it's an even longer tradition than Second World War when, when, when Switzerland was also a hiding, uh, hiding place for, for gay life as well. Yeah. Um, more hidden, but um, Zurich is, is a gay city and um, yeah, we're very proud. I've been to, I guess, about five different countries, no, six different countries so far. Mm -hmm. And this is the first one I've really seen, like, rainbow flags openly displayed everywhere and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's nice. It's, yeah, it is quite nice. <laughs> nice. What you find in Zurich is that you have on a, on a very small, in a small city, compared with large cities such as Paris, London, you have a wide uh, choice of things that you can do. You can either have your nightlife, you can go to bars, clubs, dancing, saunas, etc. Daytime you can do your shopping, but on the next day, if you are bored with all these lifestyle activities, you can go rent a bike and you can just do a trip outside the city. We are on our way to Verd Insel or Verd Island. Now this is an unofficial or wild gay beach. It's basically a spot gays and lesbians have claimed as their own and it's also clothing optional. I just want to jump. Up, up, up. First of all, why don't you for our viewers describe where we are right now? This is the Verd Insel here in Zurich. Und ja, das ist ein, eine freie Body, wie es hier in Zürich heißt, ein, ein Schwimmbad. Ja, und äh, da kommt man recht regelmäßig, denke ich so, als, als Spuler hier hin, um sich einfach auszuruhen, zu relaxen. Thank you. Enjoy your That's my cell phone number if you're ever in Zürich. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to jump. It's too cold. How important is it to have a place for uh, gay and lesbian people here in Zurich to 
lay in the sun, you know, touch their boyfriend, and it, it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Slap his ass. Ja, sehr wichtig in der weil es ist ja nicht speziell gibt und sonst musst du in den Bett gehen. Aber ich finde das sehr wichtig, wenn es jetzt das wäre, nee, also ja, wo immer alle hingehen, mm. wenn man normale Schwimmbad und so, und das ist nicht so cool, weil hier ist eben ein ungezwungen, FKK, ja, so. Oh ja. You're watching Big Planet in Zurich. Time for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. When we come back, Zurich Gay Pride hits the streets. It's just once a year, so yeah, become crazy. Get all, yeah, become gay. And we explore gay chic, an artistic examination of gay power. It's an exhibit for the heterosexuals to realize how much influence there is by gay communities. Win a trip for just a few pennies. Pink Planet is offering a bunch of holiday packages for two. Just text TRIP to 100-100. Place your bid. The lowest bid that no one else has wins the trip. More details at www.pinkplanet.tv. Remember, bid low. Hello, this is Gloria Viagra here in Zurich at the Gay Pride. Hallo, ich bin Marian. Und ich bin Isabel. Und wir, wir sind da in der Schweiz. Der Schweiz! And you are watching Pink Planet! Hi, this is Sarah. And I'm Karen. And we're Bananarama. And you're watching Pink Planet here in Zurich. <laughs> CSD, as it's commonly referred to, is Zurich's biggest gay and lesbian festival with literally thousands of people from all over Europe taking in the all-day party. Christopher Street Day, or CSD, has its origins in New York City, where on June 27, 1969, gays and lesbians resisted a brutal police raid at a gay club. Now, CSD marks the birth of the gay rights movement and is celebrated in cities around the world. German word for vegetables is Gemüse. And we don't say Gemüse, we say gay Gemüse. And you're the banana. A banana cowboy. Banana cowboy. I'm Chiquita. Okay, but what fruit are you? Uh, He's the I'm fruit fly. fly. Fruit? Oh. Yes, I'm the pineapple lady. Yes, and <laughs> I'm the basket. The fruit basket? <laughs> when we bumped into you, I saw people stopping to ask, ask for your photograph. Yeah. <laughs> they want to take your picture. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It's yeah, like, absolutely. yeah, show some color, show some pride. It's all colors of the rainbow anyway, ain't it? Are you also, um, and I noticed that it's really kind of crossing boundaries. I noticed a couple here that were like straight taking your picture. And just Why not? Yeah, exactly, because I think you don't see that like every time. So it's just once a year, so yeah, become crazy. Get all, yeah, become gay. Eat more fruit. How does it feel to be marching through the streets of your city um, openly gay? I mean, uh, everybody knows that we are gay, so it's no problem. Yeah. So, but some people, they really watch like a little bit strange, but so we have to show it. So then in a few years, it's not, not a problem anymore. CSD kicked off with a political rally and a small... <laughs> also up here. CSD Zurich kicked off with a political rally and a small yet peppy pride parade that's winding its way through the city's yes, old town. How has this event evolved over the years? 20 years ago, 10 years ago, it was a political demonstration. A fight for rights? Yeah, really a fight yeah. for rights. Yeah. Um, and what is it now? It becomes more and more just a part.
Are you pleased that Zurich, your your home city, hosts an event like this? Are you proud of that? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool to be gay in Switzerland, yes. <laughs> is that true? Is it cool to be gay in Switzerland? Yeah, it is. I'm Russian, so I can tell you it's cool to be gay in Switzerland. <laughs> CSD continues into the wee wee hours with a bunch of late night parties. Come on, we're gonna check some out. We're just backstage now to interview tonight's headliners. Thanks to the backstage pass. Can you guess who it is? How does it feel to be in Zurich uh, performing for CSD? It's fantastic actually, because we've never played here. So, yeah. I mean, I know it's kind of like a club date, but it, it's nice because they said there's a lot of people out there to see us, which is fantastic. Because you have no feedback when you're in England. You don't know yes. if there are any fans anywhere, but there, there obviously are, so it's really good. Is it nice to know that you have a big following oh, uh, from the gay community? Yeah, well, we're kind of aware of that now. <laughs> what was the giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the, the, the gay community have been just amazing for us. They've been so loyal to us from, mm. well, sort of, I think it, we sort of realized sort of in the mid 80s more that, that we'd suddenly developed this sort of gay following. It wasn't something we intended or, or that we even realized was happening, I think. We just suddenly realized that every time we went out, we were with 10 gay men and us too. <laughs> Some things haven't really changed that much. Thank you. What a marvelous reception. How do you say? I noticed you said a it's great to be gay on the stage. But it is. It is. I'm actually kind of, well, uh, straight, gay, kind of straight. I'm, I'm just straight. But yeah, I know it's, it's, I'm happy for anyone who is gay. <laughs> You're watching Pink Planet in Zurich, Switzerland. Time for a short break. When we come back, we look at how chic it is to be gay. Stay tuned for that. After the break, we'll take you on a complete tour of this groundbreaking art exhibit. This was designed for people to actually Correct. try Correct. changing genders. Correct. And are people doing it? Of course. And we meet Switzerland's biggest out TV star. What I try to do is really not to be the gay personality, but a human being yeah. that has uh, sexual preferences. Listen up everybody, we're looking for Pink Planet reports from all over the world. Just visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member and record a video blog. Watch for yourself in upcoming episodes. The Museum of Design here in Zurich has a brand new exhibit called Tana Gay Chic and it's a closer look at how cool it's becoming to be gay. Gay Chic, how would you describe this exhibit? It's actually, it's an exhibit for the heterosexuals to realize how much influence there is by gay communities. And it's huge, isn't it? Is that what you're finding? It's huge, massive. It's uh, fashion, it's advertisement, it's party, it's film and it's music. It's all the things I love. This is a 
section of fashion, fashion. and because we uh -huh. start here, because this is very good. yeah, this is very <laughs> chic. Because <laughs> chic is of course a word from the fashion world, so yeah. we start here. This is um, an original Marlene Dietrich outfit, and maybe you've heard about the Marlene Dietrich trousers. It's yeah. one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the interesting thing is that in the film Morocco, yeah. in uh, 1930, she was first we wearing a, a men's suit. And uh, people. That was outrageous at the time. That was it? outrageous. Gay chic interruption. Gay chic interruption. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're gonna you, just, yeah, quick. We make a little experiment. Yes, ma'am. And this is the chic command. Yes. And this is like the identity switch of woman and man. Oh, Choose someone you want to get morphed with. Okay, go back to the younger girl. The girl? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now ready for me more? That Hello. is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. At least I know never to do my hair this way. This is. Okay, okay. What was the next one you went to? Oh. I'm gonna make myself sick. <laughs> And this is the big finale, or this, this is, is the showstopper? This, this is, is the this big is finale. It. We're going now into the subculture mm. of Zurich. It's called it's the... It's crazy in here. <laughs> It's very crazy. <laughs> and it's the, the drag kings and drag queens of Zurich who did this room installation. And That's you see, amazing. they didn't forget anything. Everything is really Everything. prepared for, for the, 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 the transformation. Yes, this was designed for people to actually Correct. try Correct. changing genders. Correct. And are people doing it? Of course. Look at this. It's almost <laughs> empty. All the products are gone. Yeah, you know, the no. queens have been here. And, and, and this <laughs> the is nails really are disappearing. Perfect. <laughs> we have a variety of, of clothes. Women can put on like men's clothing and you've got wigs here. Wigs and yeah. yeah. And, uh, Corsets. Yeah. Again, this, the, 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 the subject of gender identity of mm -hmm. the role play mm -hmm. and here. Don't take this with you. <laughs> Don't take this home. <laughs> You're watching Pig Planet in Zurich, Switzerland. Time for a short break. We're back with more right after this. When we come back, out Swiss TV star Kurt Oschbacher shares his story. When your mother stands in front of a newspaper stand and she sees all these headlines and all her friends um, are asking, uh, how do you deal with that? We want to hear from you. Share your travel tips with the Pink Planet crew. Visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member, and submit a blog or email. Watch for your comments on upcoming episodes. My name is Alf and I'm here in Zurich, Switzerland and you looking Pink Planet. Hi, my name is Sjaja from Zurich and you're watching Pink Planet. Hello people, this is Kurt Eschbacher from Switzerland. I'm very happy to talk to Pink Planet and I'm proud to have them here in Zurich. When we were planning to come here, um, everyone said, because we were a gay and lesbian travel show, everyone said, you must talk to Kurt. You must talk to <laughs> Kurt. Are you, <laughs> are you aware that you are, you know, uh, a hero among the gay community here? No, absolutely not. I think you recognize yourself in a totally different way than people see you from the outside. Yeah. I think I tried to do a good job. I tried to be authentic and honest and... Um, go my way and probably that's the result then at the end. Kurt Oschbacher is the most famous and beloved television personality in Switzerland with a huge Oprah Winfrey-like following of his daily talk show. He's also openly gay. Pink Planet caught up with him on the set of his show for a very candid one-on-one -on -one chat. How did you come out? Well, it was always clear already when I started my job at TV that uh, I never had a fiancé that I was just presenting to uh, the medias. 
And for many years, everybody was respecting somehow the private life um, of um, celebrities, to uh, say this way. Mm -hmm. And then, um, about 15 years ago, there was this coming out where suddenly journalists wanted to make a big headline. Absolutely. But uh, very quickly, um, nobody was interested in it a anymore. <laughs> and what I try to do is really not to be the gay personality, but a human being yeah. that has uh, sexual preferences. And this was um, very soon accepted also by the people around me. When you saw the headlines, the very first time you saw the headlines, were you concerned? Did you think, oh, this, is, this will be the end of my career and I won't be able to work anymore? Did that cross your mind? No, never. I was concerned about uh, my family also because for them it's even more difficult when um, your mother, my father was dead already at this time, but when your mother stands in front of a newspaper stand and she sees all these headlines and all her friends um, are asking, uh, how do you deal with that? And for them, I think it's more difficult than for you yourself. I was never afraid about the career. And if that would have been changed, so I would accept it. But I think the opposite um, was the fact. Yeah. So I think you have to really make this step forward to be honest and, and, and to be open-minded as well. Uh, you shouldn't hide. I think m mainly with gay people, the problem is that they hide too much. They are afraid of yeah. losing anything. They are afraid of not being accepted the same way. Mm -hmm. And I think to be openly gay makes things easier. Yeah. I can only say that this is the only way to do it. Did this city um, and the people here um, really kind of rise to the occasion when you were outed? Did you think it was very uh, um, a part of the culture here that people were so accepting of it? Zurich has changed in the last, I would say, 15, 20 years. And um, being such a, a melting pot of different people coming from all over the world and from all over Switzerland because the job opportunities were so great in Zurich, in these um, years it changed a lot. Uh, a lot more tolerance and also a gay community that has been very active, but that um, wasn't always a fact. And that wraps up this edition of Pink Planet. We are off to another destination. I'm Bill Mantis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. For a complete listing of gay bars, clubs, hotels and events in Switzerland, visit www.pinkplanet.tv. Relax! I'm a doing your massage. Do you want to start again? Colors house and it's best described as a yes. Hi baby. Hi How again. I remember this guy. Fucking from Canada. You are like ten thousand feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>